Okay, so today, as the name implies, I'm going to be showing you the recoil system that I have built to help deal with some of the recoil that this cannon produces. So, and I've also, you know, included a firing mechanism because, you know, that's just, I, I felt it was necessary. So that is included. So this, basically what this is, is um, the cannon itself is mounted to this piece of wood right here which rides in between here and is attached to two springs. I believe these are the same springs that I use for pretty much everything else. These are trampoline springs. I'm guessing they're at least 30 or 40 pounds each, so maybe more. Uh, but uh, obviously, you know, these are pretty darn strong. And basically all these are doing is helping to stop some of the recoil. And from what I've seen with some other rounds, uh, these two may actually not be enough. Uh, this thing does produce a lot of recoil. So, we're going to be showing you that today, but, you know, to get the full effect out of this and to really show you the recoil, I'm going to have to have a really, really hard recoiling round. So that's exactly what we have today. Um, pop it out here. Sorry, I got my tripod set up outside, so... Basically what this is, is this is probably at least two and a half pounds um, and it's full paper jacketed and it's quite heavy and this should definitely produce enough recoil to show you this recoil system in action if not too much. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pressurized and loaded and we're going to go ahead and shoot it. A few things before I get to shooting this one, I am using my center block that I keep back here to basically keep the cannon from moving backwards because as I mentioned it has a lot of recoil and we gotta have something to keep it in place and also number two I mentioned in a previous video that I might be getting a high-speed camera well I've ordered one so when it comes that should be really cool um, you're gonna see some more stuff on this channel that's not gun related um, and more stuff that is except really cool and then high-speed um, the one that I ordered is a Casio X film that can get up to a thousand frames per second at you know a good ish resolution for what it is. They're pretty expensive, but you know, can't spare any expense, right? Anyway, so I did want to make that point just real quickly. And so, after the cannon gets done pressurizing, I'm gonna bring it out here and we're gonna try to flatten out the steel plate. I want to give you a good look at it before. I go ahead and shoot it. So as you can see, it's quite bulged in some places. So we're gonna shoot it at this, probably around here, because I wanna try to flatten this out a little bit. And uh, if it works anything like the last one that I tried to flatten out, <laughs> so you can see, it uh, <clears throat> maybe did a little bit too much flattening out. So we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right be back in just a minute. Okay, so I got it all set up. I got the cinder block on it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot it real quickly. So we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and make this quick because this is kind of a, you know a quick video anyway so as you can see these um, was flush right here basically what happened is this came all the way back to probably about here or so I haven't looked and then the springs brought it forward uh, you most likely saw exactly where it came back to when I had slowed it down for you to look at but anyway so it fired as expected and it definitely uh, left a mark slight a uh, pretty good sort of bold some of the pieces uh, left some dust there but anyway this was uh, way more flat and it, or it was uh, more pronounced and this has pushed it back the other way these plates have gotten most certainly 
messed up, so yeah, I don't. This one's had it relatively unharmed, and yeah, that's the jacket or lack thereof. What's left of it? And uh, there's bits of just jacket everywhere. So hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out some of our other videos if you'd like to see more of this. Make sure you like this video and uh, share it and everything. And um, have a very nice day. See, we are going to be shooting. I have two different sort of bullshit.